Welcome to our lab, Manage User and Group Accounts and Related System Files Users. In this lab we'll learn about the different types of Linux users, uh, users and a few tools to add, modify and remove them. We've skirted over these commands before. Uh, I, haven't got, I haven't got the other lab um, in front of me but I think we're adding just a bit more complexity uh, from the Essentials syllabus moving into the LPIC1. So we're going to open up the uh, terminal, run the following command, and then we'll go through uh, the outputs. So we've got various uh, fields here. I'll just highlight the top one here. We can note how many fields we have. All right, so it's an inventory of all the users on a system. PassWD file is a database with seven fields separated by colons. Username, encrypted password, user ID, group ID, comments, home directory, default shell. Take note of the root user, which we've already looked at. We should be listed on the first line. This is the administrative user. It's only this user that can unconditionally do anything on the system. By running a command, proceeding with proceeding with sudo which we do sometimes you're running that command as the root user you can also use sudo dash i or su to access a root shell directory if you look at a user's id you'll notice that most of them on the default system are below 1000 these are system users Typically used to run specific services rather than running those as root which can create security problems. On most systems human user IDs begin at 1000 um, or 500. You can easily see the password information for your own user with grep a user etc password which you can try for yourself. Now task 2 we're going to run the following command. The shadow file is a sensitive database containing user uh, hashed user passwords, among, among other information. Be careful with the contents of this file. It contains nine fields, again separated by colons. However, on a default Ubuntu install, only the first three are likely to be significant. Username, encrypted password, date of last password change. The other fields contain information like account expiration, dates and the minimum maximum password ages which are not configured on the default system. See man5 shadow for more information which I recommend you do. You can see this information for yourself with the following command which again I'll leave you to try. And then we'll move on to task C where we'll run the following command. Here you're adding a file to the etc scale directory which determines the default files in a new user's home directory. Now we'll issue the following two commands.
So you should see the output of Hello World. What happened is you created a new user called Foo using the dash M switch to ensure a home directory was created. Every file in etc scal was then copied to the new user's home directory. Finally, set an initial password um, for this user with sudo password foo. Finally, we'll do some cleanup. 